Up a Tuesday. Kitty's staring at me right down here. She just had treats. You want to come up here? Jump. Jump up here. Come on, jump. Today she did something that I, I've tried to get her to do for years because my old cat would do it and Heidi would do it. If a door was slightly cracked, you know, they just push their way in and come in like they own the joint. She's never been like that. If a door is closed and it's open a crack, to her it's closed. And she, I was in the bathroom earlier. TMI, I know, but that's where I was. And the door was open, just a tiny crack. I was in there getting ready for a shower and so. stuff. And I saw her paw sliding through the door. And I'm like, you can push on the door, it'll open for you. And um, usually she would just give up and walk away because she's just not forceful, are you? No. She's over here now, straddling between the bed and the cupboard. And so, I'm like, you can do it. And I just kept seeing her, her hand, and then all of a sudden the door moved a little bit. And then I saw her nose. Like push your way in, and then finally she opened it up before she could squeeze her body through it. First time she's ever done it. First time I could ever talk her into doing it. So I was kind of proud. It's only taken you five years. You're a slow learner. Yeah, you are. She's looking at me like I don't care. Um, and then when I was in the shower, I we have a glass shower door, and I I could see her through there walking, looking in like where. Who's, what's that door? Who's in there? What's going on? <laughs> um, Dad's gone right now. He went and took uh, Carol to the orthopedic doctor, our orthopedic doctor, Dr. Balance. And she's been having shoulder problems. And she's been in physical therapy and that's not helping. And so now they're going to see the specialist. Balin, all he does is shoulders, knees, hips. That's it. Um, so they'll probably do x-rays and see if she might need surgery or they might do a cortisone shot because she's never had one of those before and it might help her, it might help with the pain because let me tell you, it helps in the knees so they might, I'm sure that he'll try the cortisone to see if it helps so that's where they are and I'm getting ready to leave to go make a bank deposit which I just got ready here and I'm getting ready to get online here to pay our um, fleet card, gas card bill. And I have to mail a few of Dad's bills because I was just in the kitchen doing his stuff. All his big bills are hitting at one time, like summer taxes, his six months car insurance, and the homeowner's insurance all hit at one time. Um, well, taxes aren't due till next Friday, so we're going to pay those Excuse me, next week. Summer taxes are, is our huge taxes, and the winter taxes isn't very expensive at all. So, he's like, well, we'll be okay. In a few months, we'll just build, it up, build our, my account back up. I'm like, yeah, you'll build your account back up. So, and our, our, power, our electric bill is only down to $76 in this last month, so that's good. And we, we use the air conditioner some of it, so that's awesome. I'm just babbling now. Yesterday I tried to take a nap in the afternoon. It didn't happen. So about 5 o'clock, I'm staring at my ceiling. I'm like, and I yell, Dad, do you want to go to Myers? <laughs> He's like, yeah, we can go. I'm like, thank God. I need to get out. So we um, went to Myers and I bought some stuff to do. Tonight I'm doing Asian food. I'm going to do fried rice and chicken stir fry. So yeah, so I got some. Even got some fresh uh, snow peas. I like snow peas, and I never went over to the produce and got any before for the uh, stir fry. But today, fresh snow peas. I got fresh mushrooms. I got onions, and a bunch of other stuff. I got, and I got some frozen stir fry vegetables. I did tank on that, but you know, hey. So I'm going to do that later on tonight, get our big walk skillet out and our other uh, skillet. This morning I made the rice and I have it in the refrigerator to chill because you can't make stir fry with freshly made warm rice because the rice will just break all apart and be kind of mush. You kind of need it cooked and then 
put in the refrigerator and cool. That way it's more stable to stir fry it. That's just my opinion. I could be talking out of my butt. Before I got in the shower, I got to talk to Mr. JD, Grandpa Geach. It was nice talking to JD. And then when I got out of the shower, my friend Christy had called. I tried to call over the weekend, but um, they, she was camping in the mountains right down by Lemonette, actually. And uh, she had no reception because her 40th birthday is coming up this week. Today is her uh, boyfriend Ronnie's birthday. He turned 40 today. So she called me on her lunch hour, and I talked to her for a little bit. Catch up on what's going on and all that good stuff. Because I haven't really talked to her in a long time. And, uh... So now I'm just going to go out into the world. Kitty, what are you doing? Kitty tried to eat a box a little while ago, and I had to yell at her when I was on the phone. She was literally trying to eat it. Like, rip it, like... <sighs> But she was tearing off a beef jerky and a piece of beef jerky in her mouth. I don't know about her. I think she's looking for treats. I'll throw her some just because I'm going to take pity. I see ya. There you go. Okay. I'm done yakking now. Maybe not. I did buy a few things for the cookout. I bought plates. They had three packs for five dollars, the nice plastic plates that don't bend. Because the worst thing when you go to a cookout is when they have cheap paper plates that once you put something on it, they fall apart. I mean, no likey. Um, so I got some plates. I got a can of peas and a can of tuna because I want to make a macaroni salad uh, that I've made in a video online. So if you want to see that, I'll have to go look at it just to remember what I thought I put in it. I had to go look at the. Um, video for my fried rice to remember how to do it. I'm glad I put stuff on playlists because it, just, it does come in handy. Um, and I'm going to, for the cookout, I'm going to make a grape salad. I, and I remember my aunt making this years and years and years ago when I was younger. And I loved it. And I wanted to make it for years. I just haven't. And um, so I'm going to make a grape salad. It has red grapes and green grapes. And you put in cream cheese and sour cream and vanilla and is this the recipe? Vanilla and some sugar. I'm going to try to record it when I make it because um, I'm going to try to make it the day before the party and um, Gail should be here so she can help me film it on my foot cam. Gail, I'm going to put you to work. I'll be actually doing quite a bit of stuff the night before the, the party. I like to make as much in it the day before as I can, so that way the day of I don't feel overwhelmed. Like, I'll make the brownies the day before, and I'll make my pasta salad the day before, and I'll make my grape salad the day before, and I'll make my deviled eggs the day before. So, yeah. I get so excited when these things happen. I love having cookouts. We haven't had one in a long time. You know, the last... The biggest one we had was for Lizzie's birthday, and that was three years ago. I cannot believe it's been three years since we had that huge cookout. Okay, I am just gabbing on and on and on. Tell me how your Labor Day was. People, she left one treat on the floor. I think there's a defective treat every time she eats a treat. Or she just leaves it for later. Okay, goodbye.